Hello everyone, my name is Martin Warden and uh, welcome to another Company of Heroes cast. Today we're uh, playing a 2v2 on Lorraine. Uh, okay, I'm playing the American right now and uh, my buddy here, uh, my ally, Hoden Habicht, Habicht or something, is also playing American and we're playing against two, um, two Wehrmacht, I guess, yeah. It's just a random battle. I don't know this guy, I don't know any of, the, of those guys. So, uh, well, let's get started, shall we? And I thought I should I should upload this game because I actually played re really well, um, but I also have to give credit to my uh, ally because he played very very good as well. And um, he immediately anticipates when I pull off a barracks, he uh, pulls off a um, support center. So I'm gonna fully concentrate on making riflemen stuff and doing infantry stuff, and he will support me with his MGs, mortars, and snipers. And actually, that works out really really well, as you will see in this game. And uh, I thought, well, this might actually be a game which is actually worth uploading. So yeah, here it is. And actually, it's actually pretty short as well, because we really demotivated our enemies pretty good. And um, yeah, they just gave up after a couple of minutes into the game, because well, we we were just crushing them. There were they couldn't go anywhere. Actually, at least they thought they couldn't go anywhere. They could actually those guys were actually pretty noob. They didn't play that well. But I thought, from my point of view, um, we uh, played actually very good. So that's why I upload this. It's not because of them, but it's actually how we actually take on this game. So I immediately pull off barracks. Um, I build two Raffman squad squads. And uh, my buddy, what's he building? Let's see. Um, he's building a mortar from the from the beginning, which is... I haven't seen that... Um, like right away in games, but whatever. Well, he's gonna be supporting me perfectly, as you can see, as you will see later on in the game. So, uh, and this always is a very important point of this of this map of the map of Lorraine. And um, let's see what they're coming with. There are some MGs, um, some pioneers, capping some munitions points, and uh, some of them are gonna cap here, right here. But I'm immediately gonna cap the fuel because I think. Oh no, it's just five. Um, but I want my engineers to, to cap uh, this munition points. So here we have some first action of the game already. And uh, as you can see, riflemen cap very, very quick, quickly. It's uh, incredible. It's really cool, actually. And my men get suppressed immediately by that MG. But mortar, that mortar is helping me out. And the second rifleman squad is coming in already, coming for help. This one is flanking this MG, which is gonna go down. So you will see in a minute. Because he doesn't retreat him, he just walks around with them, which is pretty stupid. Could have kept that that guy alive, but he didn't. And here I have some more trouble with the Vox Grenadiers, of course, and um, I decide to move my man into the building and let the second squad come to rescue. Yeah, let's see. <coughs> So yeah, I, I actually do not play the Americans that often. Um, for some reason I like to play more as the Germans and the Panzer Elite. I've played so many Panzer Elite lately. Just because I didn't play them that often uh, when I first played the game. But when I re uh, reinstalled this game I was thinking like, well I actually never, almost never played this for. So yeah, I should try it actually. And try and understand it and work with it. And uh, some of my games with them turn out to be to be pretty good, I start to understand this force, and of course I want to bring some variety in my channel as well, because I've I think I've uploaded like two uh, Panzer Elite videos, and I think I have some more replays in my Computer Heroes folder. Uh, so I guess it wouldn't be interesting to always watch like uh, Panzer Elite videos, I guess. So yeah, that's why some more variety. But I'm not. <laughs> don't ask me to to play the British, because I really suck with the British. I really, really suck. Here is, I decide to put down some mines, because this point is pretty important. Like, vehicles tend to run through these points uh, always, and um, they will hit the mine if there, if there will be one. And, um, yeah, that's why I put it down there. And it really creates uh, a different atmosphere on the battlefield. Like, you always have to watch out for uh, enemy mines and stuff, and you have to upgrade your... Uh, Pioneers and engineers with um, minesweepers, of course, 
because um, otherwise you would be losing too much men um, because of mines and um, so I think mines can come in really handy in uh, some some moments and here he comes back with three Volks in their squads uh, I think I saw them coming or maybe not maybe didn't see them coming but I just want to kill this bunker because it was blocking me for some reason I just want it gone and my riflemen are falling like flies. I guess not. I'm gonna lose a squad. No, I'm not gonna lose a squad. Well, ooh, luckily, <laughs> I destroyed that uh, bunker right in time. I decided to move in with my engineers with the flamethrower, which is really effective against infantry. Um, I almost never used the flamethrower when I first played this game, but now I really start using it a lot more because it's very good in inf against infantry and buildings and against just infantry. In um, in general, really <laughs> hurts them. So yeah, uh, why not use it to my advantage? That's especially good against like those grouped up um, squads, and they will do a lot of damage. And uh, here, just one engineer putting down mines. <laughs> but uh, I try and kill a squad. I don't know if I succeed, but the sniper is really helping me out because he's forced to retreat. He's an, he has another sniper on the field. And uh, Enemy well, unit let's see what does my ally actually have. Let's see. He has two snipers and two engineers. Yeah, my enemies. They have some MGs, lots of pioneers, and uh, folks giving their squad. Oh, they're, no, they're not this guy. Yeah, what's this guy? Because yeah, oh, he only has two <laughs> squads left. Um, his buddy is um, reinforcing like the middle of the city for some reason. He's building bunkers and bunkers. Some more bunkers for some reason. I don't know why. Should have if he wow if he helped his um, ally like right over here, he could have he could have done much better I guess. Instead of like waiting for us to come over here until we actually broke his uh his, his ally because it, it's pretty difficult to always come back with no man and. Um <coughs> If we would have helped him, like supporting, like my ally is doing with me, because I fully concentrate on infantry and my buddy concentrates on support, so it really, <laughs> it really helps against um, all those squads. Um, what is mortar, which is gone right now, but he had one, but it really helped. And his sniper, of course, as you can see, just taking, picking off guys, and uh, my men are actually taking off the heat from that sniper. Uh, but I guess they're gonna make a run for it to that sniper. But I just keep on running, ignoring the guys in the building. I gave them BRs, BARs, because uh, it's really effective. We're losing a fuel really sector. effective against infantry, and um, they didn't see anything more than infantry. Also, uh, <laughs> I decided to go for bars. <laughs> Let's see what we have coming up. Just Some rifle. two rifle squads and the uh, engineer. What am I building in my base? I'm already going to the supply yard, and my buddy has already pulled off the tank depot. So uh, he's made a big jump. He didn't go uh, barracks or um, what's it called? Where you build AT guns and stuff. Um, I don't know right now. And here my men just rape the folks with their squads. Because bars are really effective. Uh, when I first played this game, I never used, I, I actually never used my engineers as a fighting squad. I didn't use them in the beginning, I didn't use them in the end, and now I actually can use them. I can keep them alive, I can keep them busy on the battlefield with like engaging enemies uh, with, their with their submachine guns on close range, fighting off pioneers, um, laying mines, repairing stuff, getting out, uh, just moving up with the rest of my infantry with their flame towers and stuff. So yeah, my tactics have really changed since like, I don't know, a couple of months ago. Um, yeah, I'm just keeping this guy at his base, and uh, we kept most of the points, as you can see right here. Um, <laughs> we actually have a lot of points in our uh, position, in our hands, and um, my buddy has pulled off a Hellcat. I don't really know why, because there isn't any um, any tanks on the battlefield, and he pulls off a Hellcat, which is pretty weird. Um, I should have built a... Um, a Sherman probably because it's way better against infantry. Uh, you could actually even build a flamethrower Churchill. Oh, uh, what the hell, Churchill? I mean Sherman. It's a real effective against infantry and buildings. And here he comes again. 
that you will run into my MG, but it's not finished in time, I guess. So I'm just keeping my men bowling it. Once he sees that MG, instead of coming to me, well, I guess my men would have suppressed him with, with their BARs, and uh, would have been pretty useless for them to come over, to come at me, and uh, yeah, they would have suffered a lot of casualties, I guess. And uh, he, my buddy, is already going for their base. They have nothing to counter it. They don't have ATs yet. They built the Krieg barracks, but they didn't build any, any anything from it yet. But they do have Volksgrenadiers, which can do some damage with their um, Panzerfausts. Um, as you can see, <laughs> uh, they're hard hit. And, uh, but I built a T-17 armored car because I guess it's good against um, infantry. And I pull off some artillery because I went um, infantry. Because I have a lot of infantry on the field, and my buddy, I guess he went uh, armor. Here, I try and protect his um, Hellcat. I guess I try. Yeah, I'm gonna defend it for as long as I can. So, and my armored car is coming to the rescue as well. This thing is really effective against infantry. Uh, we lo love using it. It comes with the Tales of Valor, um, if you didn't know. It replaces the other, the, the Greyhound, I guess it's called. <laughs> he's just shooting... Um, he's just shooting my <laughs> armored car with his MG, which is, <laughs> is a bad idea, of course. And he isn't m even moving it, so he's, he's not paying attention, which is really stupid from his part. And I take advantage from that and just kill an MG. Uh, pretty easily. I don't know what this guy is actually doing. I haven't seen him any. Th I haven't seen him on the battlefield actually. I was only concentrating on this guy. Um, as you can see, I pulled off some artillery in his base. Um, and this fox shooting is all back at the, at the base, and he has a pack house, and that's all he got actually. And this engineer, uh, pioneer as well. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're just trying to uh, capture all the whole battlefield, actually. And, uh, well, there's nothing much to say. To pull off this guy pulls off one of my mines yeah. when he's retreating, so I immediately, re I so I immediately replay replace it because I can. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my buddy warned me for the MG, which was over there. I was going for it my, with my armor car. And I'm just gonna get a free kill once again. He's, he's not even gonna try and retreat. Yeah, which is pretty stupid actually. This is actually too easy, to be honest. But actually, my the beginning of my game was actually really strong from bo the both of us, uh, both supporting each other, um, and like uh, seeing what the other one was doing and. and um, I'm searching for the word, but I kind of find it. And, um, well, once he saw that I built my barracks, he immediately built, built his uh, sports center, so that was smart from him. From him. And um, I guess the game is al almost over. <laughs> it's almost over already. Let's go, it goes so fast. There it is already. They both drop, which was actually pretty unfortunate. I would have loved to finish them off actually, <laughs> but anyway, I did quite well, I guess. Uh, I don't know what these what this guy was doing. This what this guy played okay, but this guy, it was pretty much useless. He built a Sturm Armory and the Krieg barracks, and he actually didn't do a single fuck, to be honest. If I can use those words, let's see what he. Oh, I cannot see what he has. He only has some pioneers in the field. Some right here. Oh no, They're, those are mine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.